The voice that emerged from behind the Iron Curtain after the fall of Romanian communist ruler Ceausescu in 1989. Since then, Angela Georgiou has enjoyed a soaring career on the world's opera stage. A leading lady who leaves a tempestuous reputation in her wake. Walkouts, fallouts and cancellations have earned the glamorous diva some unflattering nicknames in the media. Among them, Draculette. <laughs> um, well, I'm very disappointed. I was told you were going to be late. And it was good. You know, you're a diva and all these things. You're very nice. You're on time. Professional. Yes, I am. So what are all these things I read about? <laughs> <laughs> of course. I like uh, your start. Beautiful. <laughs> because you are reading too much. And, and not... Uh, I know. It's, uh, <laughs> it's not the truth. Yeah, that, uh, if everything, as, uh, as I, I know, to have to be careful about each detail around me, uh, I want to be good. It, I, you know, I feel that. Um, yes, I am difficult in that sense, yes. Because I'm very keen about everything around me. You're at the level now, you've reached this level, of course, where people expect perfection when they see you perform, don't yeah. they? What is perfection? What is perfection? You tell I, me. I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> I, I just want to, to be uh, in the maximum of myself. This is my uh, sort of perfection, of course. And I know uh, what, I, what is good and what I can ask around me. Um, and I, I know exactly what is good for me. And Angela believes this role is her latest step in the right direction. Her acclaimed performance in Tosca is amongst the productions that London's Royal Opera House is bringing to cinemas in 22 countries around the world. An initiative that takes the stage to the screen. I guess the idea there is to uh, give opera a much wider audience. You're going to become a lot better known as, as a result of it, aren't you? Because whatever people say about the Royal Opera House, it does have this elitist cachet. People no, don't always feel comfortable here. No, no uh, it's not true. If you really want to go inside, uh, you must know that we have tickets for um, all the But they pockets. don't know that, do they? Maybe they don't know, but not because you don't know, you, uh, you cannot do it. <laughs> it's just a matter of uh, knowledge. To, to do this all over the world in cinema, this is a new uh, technique, uh, a la mode. Um, uh, they are good things because everybody can see us and uh, I, I think it's a, uh, it's a very lucky moment for, for uh, um, theatres and the public. And the viewers will have a real treat in Tosca, won't they, in particular, yes. because um, <laughs> nothing has ever been so well reviewed, I don't think, in this country. Uh, I, uh, Unbelievable <laughs> critical acclaim. <laughs> so Angela, sorry, sorry, Angela, she never read a review, just I well, see you the should picture. Well, if you read any, you should have read <laughs> I those. I'll tell you why, because I don't want to be even bad or good, to, because I'm not doing this uh, to have uh, uh, to be recognized or to have money or to become whatever I'm just doing this because like I want to do it it's it's bigger than 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 me so I really need to do it I must do it Angela has shared the stage with many greats not least as Juliet opposite her real-life Romeo husband Roberto Alagna <laughs> And now, on her new album, thanks to the tricks of technology, she pairs up with one of opera's greatest icons. We try to have, uh, for the first time in, in uh, operatic history, a real duet. So I made a duet also with Maria Callas and Habanera from Carmen. So we film that, we record that. Uh, Is so that in a the studio then? Uh, yes, yes. Um, so it te technically it's a long way. And does that feel completely, is that difficult for you to get inspired if you haven't got the audience no. there for you? Oh no, never. Because I have uh, all the time, I'm not recording by myself. I'm at least with uh, an engineer, I have with a producer, and then with the orchestra. They're my first judge. They are my colleagues, and I want to convince them. So I'm not, I'm never alone. It's much more intimate, and though, isn't it? What, yes, what people are getting from the album, perhaps. Yeah, but at the same time, I, I, I never give more or less depends on the number of the part. If I have a person, and thousands or millions, 
I try all the time to to give the best. I try to have journalist or, or somebody in my, in, in my recording session to really to see me and to feel how um, real I am. And I'm not kidding, I give everything. You may ask Tony Papano, all my colleagues I ever did. So I give absolutely everything. I feel sorry for the journalist, but then you don't read the review afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm very disappointed. Uh, all these difficult rumours aren't true at all. I was expecting a uh, big but depends, argument. Depends. Depends. Not everything. Some. Some of them. They are. They are real. Uh, an imagination. So people, they want Angela in a way um, that sometimes I'm really not. I'm more simple and more. Um, uh, uh, modest. Because uh, if you. Um, you, you lose your senses, your mind, and uh, your reality about everything you do. Uh, you cannot be after 20 years in the same level, in the same place. <laughs>